Shalom, we praise the Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Milson, all well, well, and Shalom to the whole for that. This is Paya Allah, and this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News update. The date today is uh, the 8th of August, uh, 2023, the hopeful year. Okay, and uh, we've got a couple RQ articles, and I'm going to go into. Um, the prophecies, all right. Um, well, go into these articles and extrapolate the prophecies within the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it right that time. All right, so the first one I've got is from nypost.com. The headline reads Video shows open air prostitution in yet another NYC neighborhood as hookers stroll in broad daylight. Now, New York City is like, even though it isn't the capital city of the the land known as America, Babylon the Great, by default, it, it it's the it's like the shining star, the the um, pearl of all the um, provinces in America. All right, that is at the height of it all. All right, and New York City really, you know, that's why it's to call it the Empire State. That's why you have the Empire State Building, okay? As in, that's that's where the hierarchy, you know, uh, they, um, man, my brain is not where one shoes to be, man. Um, where they where they sit, basically. There's another word I want to use, but it's escaping me right now. But um, yeah, so they sit there, and um. You know, by default, this is the the main state. This is where it all happens. The Harlem goes back to the um goes back to Harlem, in Amsterdam, Netherlands, which goes back to Yerushalayim, right? Jerusalem, right? And that's where the word came out of, dealing with you know the founding fathers on this side, being the, the you know the first spirits that I created, back in the day, right? To bring out the word. Dealing with high priest Abba Bivens, right, followed by King Marshal, high priest Yaakov, high priest Ari, high priest Ariar, and the elder apostles we have today. All right, that New York City is prominent for that. There's a heavy spirit on there. Now, that being said, on the flip side, this being out there like this, this being uh, the pearl of all the, you know, the, the diamond jewel, the jewel of all the provinces, having this kind of behavior being done shows you what kind of st state of affairs this present time is in all right so let's read it it says um the raunchy old days are back in east new york all right brooklyn where some blocks are overrun by hookers hawking early morning sex with one strutting her stuff nearly naked in the middle of the street Shocking new footage posted online shows. All right, now, the fact that it said it's up, it's back, because New York, that city was once, man, it was a free-for-all, all right? Going back a few decades ago, okay? There's a remnant of it today, but it's obviously progressed a lot more forward. Like, you go down to downtown Brooklyn now, that's more or less like the city. I'm talking like I'm a New Yorker. I'm just going off what... <laughs> Is it any brother that's from New York? You know, you know better than me. I'm just going off the little bit that I do know to build my point, to build my case. All right. So like downtown Brooklyn used to be like um, has now become like the city with the uh, Net Stadium, all these different things. The money that's being brought over there. All right. A lot of people, especially over there in London, are going. They ain't trying to go over to Harlem. All right. They may do that. But a lot of them want to go down there to, you know, the hips of spots like um I forgot that place where you got like you got a picture you can picture the Brooklyn Bridge in the background. It's like a shot and it's like Soho ish kind of area. But that's that's where people wanna go people wanna go over there. Alright. So this happening somewhere, you know, East New York in Brooklyn, a stone throw away from all of that opulence. I'd have to look at a map to really know how far away it is. But it's within the same borough, all right? Maybe a far, far, far away. But at the same time, it's the point of what they're meant to be um, perpetuating 
it really shows that, you know, that it's being f turned on its head. Okay, so it says the YouTube video East New York episode two was shot at 7 a.m. on July 28th along Stanley Avenue near Sheffield Avenue and has already garnered 5,000 views. A woman wearing a see-free orange negligee and silver platform heels can be seen walking back and forth in the front of a parked car next to a trash truck, truck in an industrial block. Then a woman who appears to be topless with an open jacket on walks in front of oncoming traffic. Next, a woman wearing a see-through purple negligee and strappy high heels trips as she tries to talk to a potential client in a car as a woman wearing a tiny black teddy with a cut-out stomach uh, watches from across the street. All right, so you can see these images. All right, just down the road, a prostitute wearing a stringy negligee and fire-high black boots walks down the centre of the roadway, waving and smiling at passing drivers. Uh, another street walker in a barely dare orange outfit is seen walking past and Department of Sanitation building on Georgia Avenue. Okay. So, yeah, you can see it. So, you have this. It says, in... No, I wasn't going to read that, actually. So, in the 75, we would drive down the areas where we were... There were waves of them, said Alcazar, who was on the job for three decades. It's sad because we cleaned it up. And now it's back. And with that, they are also trafficking, you know, kids. Alcazar said when he was un an undercover officer, the NYPD would arrest 13-year-olds and get them help. You know, they look at their pimps like they're going to take care of them, he said. They don't know they're being used. All right. So this is what's happening. All right. Right there. And this is showing you that. You know, just like the way Russia's being pulled back with hooks in their jaw, all right, to, to iron up the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, it's just like the lewd spirit in America that, you know, they've been trying to cast off is being brought ever so more to the to the forefront. All right, it's waxing worse and worse. Let's read some scriptures. So this is Amos 7 and 16. And therefore hear thou the word of the Lord Jehovah, Thou sayest, prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Jehovah, thy wife shall be a harlot in the sea, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by lion, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Right? And we can see this is, you know, these neighborhoods are Jake prominent neighborhoods in these hookers, these are in peace. They basically are, you know, Jake women for the, you know, Jake and Israel, you know, Latin tribes that are basically presenting themselves to do this. And this is because the Heavenly Father has cursed them and given them up to be harlots in the, in the city. All right. So let's read this. Um... Wow. Uh, there is. This is Isaiah 19 and 14. And the Lord Jehovah have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and have caused Egypt to err in every word thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. See? So you see that they said they clean this up, but the Heavenly Father has mingled a perverse spirit, you know, a, a perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt. All right, and calls them to earth. So this is this is you know, there is no, they're trying to clean up on all this type of stuff. No, it's it's going it's reverting back to these ways. All right, like we've you've seen the rise to prominence with um, OnlyFans and things of that nature. It's basically taken the prostitution digital. All right, and there is a big you know need. This they call it the oldest. Biz, there's no business like whole business, the oldest profession known to man, all right? And you can see this is really just the Heavenly Father putting it on display, you know, quite um, pointly, 
point pointly that America is a harlot within itself and it's it's slated for destruction. Right, so let me read this last scripture and I'll move on. So there's the book of Nahum 3, and I'll start from 4 on down. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the world favoured harlot and mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her through her whoredoms and families and families through her witchcrafts, behold I am against thee, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Alright, and this is part of it. All of that money that's being pumped into the the Empire State, New York City, you you having prostitution in broad day, you know, in, in at the start of you know the rising of the sun, right? Raising coming back to prominence, all right? After years of being, um, put at um put to a, put put to rest, okay. So reading on it says um. Verse six, and he'll cast abominable, abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock. Right, this isn't it in its fullness, but this is part of it. All right, it shows you that look, this this city, America, or New York City, ain't what you know, as um Snoop Dogg, when he came through and kicked the towers, <laughs> he said in the song of. New York, New York, big city, big city of your dreams, but everything in New York ain't always what it seems. You might get fooled if you come from out of town, but I'm from Duff Row something. The dog pound something. However it goes, all right? Too much. Too many people, too much. Uh-uh, uh-uh. But anyway, that's the point, all right? Big city of dreams and everything in New York ain't always what it seems, all right? And that's, it's being shown, all right? But there's greater things to come. That's why you have whistleblowers, all right, their tongue falling upon themselves, conspiracy theorists that are being shown to be truthful, all right. Verse 7, and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh is laid waste, who will bemoan her, when shall I, when shall I seek comforters for thee? All right, so let's move on. This is next article from theatlantic.com. God damn. So this is the headline reads Killer Apps in social media making America's murder surge worse. Alright? Now technically it is technically it isn't, but what it is doing is, is something that's part of Esau's agenda. It is basically filtering everything as a culture that's being presented to the masses of the people upon the earth. Whereby the younger generations being technically savvy, savvy are basically filtering all of their lives through the eyes of the internet. All right, and this is of great importance to the system at hand because it allows them to now be have eyes and ears everywhere. All right, and ultimately, you know, having you addicted to these phones, making you. Not able to put it down means you'll carry it everywhere. You'll document anything you do, record anything you do. And then they have a, their eyes and their ears <clears throat> basically on you. All right. They showed you that the sona that was created in the movie Batman, I believe it was Dark Knight, with the Joker, uh, Heath Ledger Joker, that basically shows you that Batman turned everyone's mobile phones into sona. Then years later, like a decade plus years later, 15 or so, they basically show you that they that they are able to do that, all right? And they can actually turn everyone's phone into phones into sonar and project a three-dimensional image of everyone through those, uh, through those sound waves, all right? Those waves that they use, wherever they are, sound waves, vibrations, whatever it may be, all right? So... This technology being utilized in such a fashion allows them to do what? Allows them to, you know, um, keep eyes and ears on everyone, as I said before, and only play the most high, okay? Be in the room with you when you do your criminal acts. One full evening in 2020, Jarrell Jackson and Shah, Shah Jahan, Shah Jahan, Shah Jahan? I know that's not Shah. 
I know it's Shah Jahan. That's why I was like, Shah Jahan. Shah, J J Shah Jahan McCaskill were chatting in Jackson's uh, Hyundai Sonata, still on a post-vacation post high, when 24 bullets ripped through the car. The two men, both 26, had been close friends since preschool. They had just returned to West Philadelphia after days hand gliding, hang, hang gliding, zip lining and hiking in Puerto Rico. Jackson was parked outside his mum's house when a black SUV pulled up and people inside started shooting. Both he and McCaskill were pronounced dead at, at the hospital. In the aftermath, McCaskill's mo mother, Nigella Zainab Ali McCaskill, couldn't fathom why anyone would want to kill her son and his friend. Both had beaten the odds for young black men in the neighbourhood and graduated in college. from college. Jackson had been a mental health technician in an adolescent psych, psych ward, while her son had a had run a small cleaning business and tended bar. She wondered if they had been targeted by a disgruntled former employee of the cleaning business, but then the police explained her son and his friend had been killed because of a clash on social media among some teenagers. Teenagers they'd never, they never met. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Uh, for months, a battle had been raging on Instagram between crews based on either side of the mar of Market Street. Theirs was a long ra running rivalry, but a barrage of online taunts and threats had raised tensions in the neighborhood. All right. Police had assigned an officer to monitor the social media activity of various crews. And you see how they knew this information. His mother was, you know, drawing, uh, was at odds to what it, what it, what it had been. Right, and police already knew. They look, look, we've been following, we've been monitoring everything that's been happening on the socials. All right, so it says, um, an officer of on on monitor the social media activity of various crews in the city, and the department suspected that the north siders in an SUV had mistaken one of the two friends for a rival south sider and opened fire. An hour after the shooting, a north sider posted a photo on Instagram with a caption that appeared to mock the victims and encourage the rival crew to collect the bodies. Aha, pussy, pick them up. Jackson and McCaskill died in the first year of the nationwide resurgence in violence that erased more than two decades of gains in public safety. Um, in 2020, the homicides, homicides spiked by 30% and fluctuated around that level for the next two years. There are early signs that the 2023 rate could show a decre decrease of more than 10% from the last year, but that would still leave it well above pre-pandemic levels. Primologists point to a co confluence of factors, including the social disruptions caused by COVID-19, oh man, COVID the rise of gun sales early in the pandemic and the uproar of following the murder of George, George, Floor, George Floyd. Sorry. <clears throat> so there was a, a, a myriad of things that, contributed to the current state that they were, they were in, which in many cities led to a diminished police activity and further erosion of trust in the police. But in my reporting on the surge, I kept hearing about another uh, accelerant social media. All right. I kind of want to nip this in the bud and get to the point, to the bottom line of it all.
Right. Do you know what? I'll just nip it, put it all together. So I'll ask you to read this and then kind of move to my point. If you're not, it's a quote, if you're not, if you are not monitoring social media, you're wondering why thousand people were suddenly downtown fighting. And Kai Sennett, recent events, him actually doing a giveaway of PlayStations, shows you that, all right, that the internet is the key, all right? And now this is really, you know, this is them presenting a problem, all right, which is going to garner a reaction. And we're seeing certain forms of react, different forms of reaction, but their reaction is going to show it, all right? And that'll be by putting laws in place that'll come to a solution of really that CHIP, all right? The immutable rise screen. So this is, this is where it's heading. Right, and that's why they're utilizing this these these platforms to bring about um, these solutions. All right, because obviously all of the answers lie in the internet, and making people part of the internet of things. All right, um, <clears throat> let me find this. So this is Sirach 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the, the, the most secret parts, all right, being there, there uh, within their mind, all right? And I don't know if I did a video on it. I might have to actually bring it out because I, I think I posted it somewhere else in the group chat. But basically dealing with um the fact that these um these devils are basically working on certain music being played and seeing people's reactions to basically, you know, start generating algorithms that are able to read your mind. Alright? So all of these things, all this information is being culminated for one per to formulate algorithms where they, they're um, you know, um anticipate your next move where there's an anticipation of your next move all right they have a great understanding of what you desire to do all right verse 20 you know he knew all things ere ever they were created so also after they were perfect he looked upon them all all right and that's only what esau is trying to do he's trying to become the most high all right so let me read this in the book of ezekiel Uh, Ezekiel 28 and 3 Behold thou art wiser than Daniel There is no secret they can hide from thee Alright And that's potentially where Esau's on, on track to Alright With thy wisdom and with thine understanding Thou hast gotten the riches Because only is going to capitalise On all of this for, the, for, for gain's sake And thou hast gotten gold and silver Into thy treasures By thy great wisdom And by thy traffic Hast thou increased thy riches and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High, behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. All right, only being them I see the imps. All right. First Thessalonians four.
Yeah, five. That's it. Um, uh, I know where it is, but I can't remember where it is. The scripture I'm looking for. I'm gonna have to let it go, man. Yeah, I'll just leave it for now. Um, so yeah, that's it on that. So let's move on. So this is the hot topic right now. We're dealing with Judah, right? So that's a book of um, the book of. It's from the Guardian. dot com. It says large brawl in Alabama as people defend Black River Road worker against white assailants. Fight appeared to start when a worker objected to a platoon boat preventing larger boat from docking and was attacked by a group of white men. Right? A dramatic brawl on the Montgomery, Alabama riverfront pitted people standing up for a black riverboat worker against a group of white people who began beating him for telling them to move their boat, to move their illegally parked platoon. The Saturday night fight which was captured in multiple videos posted to social media, appeared to unfold largely along racial lines, and many social media users celebrated footage of the riverfront dust-up. <laughs> There's some crazy memes out there, man, which um, show the white assailants get the ter tables turned on them by black people who rushed to the riverboat workers' aid. This is not 1963 anymore. I read one comment alluding to the year before the signing of the Civil Rights Act where prohibited discrimination on the basis of race. Uh, Montgomery police confirmed they responded to reports of a disturbance of the 200 block of Coosa Street in the area of Montgomery Riverfront Park. They said officers had located a large group of subjects engaged in a physical altercation. Several subjects had been detained and any changes are pending. A police statement added without elaborating. All right. So, yeah, you can read on. It's more or less, you know, there's a lot of videos out there, a lot of information. All right. Um, Aaron, that's crazy. He swam across his 17-year-old um, to back it. But yeah, you can read into it. But w what we're seeing is, you know, the table's turning. All right? So it's the book of Genesis, the 49th ch chapter. And I'll start from verse 8. So Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise, being the chief tribe. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion because they're going to have the, the, the divine right of kings. And only the Lord is going to come out of that line, lineage. All right? The king of kings, lord of lords. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? All right? And that's the point. All these things said before about the splendor and the regard of uh, Tudor has, you know, it's lackluster because why? Because they've, they've become like an old lion, right? They've couched down. They ain't as, as, as rowdy as they sh they're meant to be in terms of all the atrocities that have been done to them, right? So the Lord is saying, you shall rouse him up. 
And as we saw within, if you've seen the clip, which I'm sure most of you have, if not, just Google it. All right, it's on YouTube and various other platforms. Basically, Judah got roused up seeing um, that one worker getting bullied by um, all those so-called white um, assailants, as they say. All right, he even had a, a Judah woman, a so-called black woman saying, yeah, swim over there, boy. Get get in the ass, boy. Like she she was fully everyone there was roused up. Right? They wanted to see the down the downing of those so called white people. All right? Because why? They were roused up, you know, and they weren't an old line no more, it become like a young line. Uh it's another scripture I wanted to grab. Oh man, it escapes me. Um, I'll just read this then. No, I don't want to read that yet because I want to read this. Uh, Judah is a land of wealth and the prey that has gone up. Oh, that's it. No, I won't read that actually. Um, no, I'll read then. Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. What will I have it be already kindled? So only the heavenly father, all right, when Yahushua gets a green light, he's going to come and bring the fire, all right? But he said he's come to bring fire, but what be if I have it already be kindled? So Judah being the head tribe is going to get roused up, which is going to ignite a flame in all the other tribes. So only saying that, these tribes are going to get busy and Judah's going to get the ball rolling. So things of this nature are inciting the mob or is, is bringing about the momentum to cultivate these um, prophecies to come to pass. All right, which only going to lead to the Lord arriving upon the earth. So there's a book of Jeremiah 4 and 7, which reads, The lion is come up, up, up from his thicket and the destroyer of his Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without an abbey. That's it. That's the Lord. All right. So with that, I pray you're edified to the next one. Say shalom, shalom.